Good morning. Welcome to Growing Edge Live Sunday broadcast. I'm Ali Benjamin and hello, hello, hello here from Om Shanti Home. Here we're in beautiful Tahoe in Incline Village in our beautiful camper van, traveling around, visiting family at the moment and enjoying this spiritual adventure, this life on a joyride. And we're taking you with us. So welcome to Growing Edge Live Sunday broadcast. And we meet here every Sunday for your spiritual tune in and tune up. And I'm Ali Benjamin and happy to be here. And we're, we're going to be inviting and welcoming everyone to join us. We have our Satya community in Ogden, Utah that jumps on. Welcome, welcome. And let's see, I'm going to, I've never done this before. Share to a group. Does that work? Let me see. Huh, I don't know. Well, welcome, welcome. Let me know who you are, where you are, where you're calling in from. I'm here in Incline Village, and I'd love to know where you are. I know that my beloved Michael is somewhere, probably getting my mother a cup of tea or something like that, but he'll be jumping on soon and uh, welcoming you all for this respite, this time away to tune in, tune into the self, have a deepening experience, to take some time to tune into the spiritual side of things. We get so caught up in the busyness of our lives and the busyness of that to-do list that we might have. And so thanks for putting us on your list this morning and giving yourself this spiritual tune in and tune up. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I think I'm going to jump on Facebook on my computer here. Welcome, welcome. Let me know if you're here and where you're calling in from, where you're viewing from, what's going on in your world. We'd love to include you in our, we do intentional consciousness work and healing circles, and we'd love to be able to include you in that. So if you have something that you're working on, something that you're wanting to heal or let go of, or something that you're coming into alignment with, maybe there's a, a new job or a, an activity, a hobby, or maybe there's a relationship uh, that's building, growing. Maybe you're developing some new skill. Whatever it might be, we'd love to hear from you. and We'd love to hold your wish, your desire, whatever it is that you're coming into alignment with. We'd like, love to hold that in consciousness with you. So welcome. Welcome to our Growing Edge Live, our Sunday broadcast. And again, I'm Allie Benjamin. And just waiting a minute for my beloved husband to jump on. Hey, Carol, where are you calling in from? There's Carol. I know she's got big news. Her, her life has changed. And I'd love to just give some love and some, some virtual hugs to Carol and her family. Good morning, Carol. Yeah. Good morning, Michael, in Klein Village. That's where we are, in Nevada. So welcome, welcome. Welcome. So let's get going and ah, let's take a moment to, to tune in. I know Michael's here. He's going to be going live on the Good Morning Ben. He's going to be going live on our Satya Center page. So I'm giving him a few minutes to get that going. So wherever you are, cheers. Here's to being on a spiritual adventure with you. And we have a lot to report and a lot to look forward to as we, we're we here in Tahoe. And then tomorrow we're heading up to uh, Mount Shasta. And so next Sunday we'll be broadcasting live. I don't know if we'll be in Shasta at that time or Ashland, Oregon, um, or somewhere in between. But we're going to be venturing out into the woods. For, for now we've been helping our family and so we're 
we're currently in my sister's driveway here in Incline Village and you can see the trees and they just go on for miles. It's beautiful here. So here we go. Free my mind, open my heart with the whispers of truth to live a conscious life, to live a conscious life on the growing So welcome from the growing edge. The growing edge really is our consciousness. It's where we are. We're always in a place of, of growth and evolution. And so we use that term growing edge because it, it keeps us so focused on the now moment, the very green growing edge. I think of a, a blade of grass coming up through the earth and there's that <clears throat> little, fresh, bright, green it's kind of a yellowish green tip and that very green growing edge it's always becoming it's always striving to to for the light and i think that's what we are the, those of us that are on this spiritual journey that have have committed to our own conscious evolution we have this sense of of newness of growing edge of infinite possibilities and potentialities and it's good to be reminded about it and so that's what we're doing today we're coming together like-minded people committed to our spiritual growth and evolution and have an awareness that there's there's a newness a freshness and a liveness that we can tune into or not because our mind can equally go to what's wrong what's missing all of the worlds of effects, those things around us, and we forget, we forget to bring our energy back and to anchor ourselves into this moment, to anchor ourselves into that place of here I am, here I am, here I am. Whatever is going on around me, that's, that's happening, but there's a coming into center, there's a here I am am anchoring ourselves in in stop be, to to stop allowing the mind to anchor ourselves into someone else's business to anchor ourselves in our worries or to anchor ourselves into trying to fix something and when we take some time every day i'd say once an hour would be good during these crazy times to anchor ourselves into who we really are as spiritual beings having a human experience. So let's take an anchoring breath. Closing the eyes and steadying ourselves in this moment. Steadying ourselves in the very depth of who we are. Who are we beyond all the labels, roles that we play, beyond even the thoughts that we have? anchoring and steadying ourselves in this now moment, only moment. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Exhale and relax and steady and center, anchoring into the truth, anchoring into who I am, our divinity, our spiritual identity. We are more than the body. We are more than our mind. We are that which has a mind, has a body, is aware of what's going on, but we're so much more. We are pure consciousness, awareness. So we anchor ourselves in that conscious awareness. And we allow everything in the physical, every physical experience we might be having, our sense perceptions, we allow ourselves to witness that, but we're more than that. So we're anchoring in to a depth and a reality and a truth that is beyond our physical identity that is beyond our 
mental identity, beyond our emotions, all of these things, physical, mental, emotional, all of that is so key to our feeling peaceful and alive, but we're more than all of that. We anchor ourselves in the truth with a capital T, reality, with a capital R. And as we anchor, and as we find ourselves becoming steadier because we're occupying our true identity, and there's peace there, there's calm, there's a sense that there's nowhere to go, nothing to do, simply be love now. Loving awareness, peaceful awareness, and it's in that love and peace that comes a sense of gratitude, appreciation. Take a breath, <sighs> exhale and open the eyes. So we have a sense of when we truly anchor ourselves in this now moment, as we truly arrive in this moment, we can do it in the midst of turmoil. We can just remember that we get to anchor. We get to anchor ourselves in the now moment, in our true identity. And maybe it doesn't illuminate all the craziness but it brings our energy back to center. It brings us to a place of power, a place of authenticity, a place of, of okay, I'm, I'm not getting sucked out there. I'm being drawn in here. And when I'm drawn in here, when I'm anchored in, when I'm connected to my source, when I'm feeling God's presence, when I'm feeling a deeper a sense of, of that identity that's been with us from the various, uh, very earliest memories. There's been that same sense of self, not the self that's a mother or a father or a daughter or a teacher or a forest or a, an accountant or a hungry person or a joyful person, but that deep sense of just being. You know that. You felt it. You had that sense when you were four years old. That sense of a, a truer identity. That's what we're going for. What, amidst the craziness, amidst our busy life, amidst the to-do list, it's so vitally important to just take some time every day, maybe every hour, to anchor ourselves, to to bring ourselves back to that sense of, Okay, and in that, that place, we, we take a respite and we disidentify with trying to fix things, trying to be on the treadmill, trying to figure things out, and we bring ourselves back to a place of peace. Why? Because this is our fundamental nature, and we get caught up out there, we get caught up in, in the competition, in in the comparison, in all of that craziness, those are the three C's, competition, comparison, and craziness, and we just anchor ourselves in, in our hearts. We anchor ourselves in our truth. So my talk today, or my, my inspiration today is anchor, align, arise. And so we anchor ourselves. And once we're anchored in that place of, of truth, of now moment, of peace, we then align ourselves, we center ourselves in our body, our mind, and our soul. We bring our body, our mind, our soul into alignment. Why? Because congruence, we have the ability. We as human beings that are conscious of being conscious have the ability to be powerfully creative, powerfully creative in this world that is a world of our making. 
yeah, we're not making the trees, we're not making the sun. We have this amazing stage that the universe has provided us, this physical playground that's so amazing. And then we wake up, we're born creative beings that get to co-create with these magical, mysterious laws of the universe that are always working for us. They're always responding to our thoughts, our words, and our emotions. So we align. We align our thoughts, our words, our emotions, our energy to that which we want to experience. So what do you want to experience? What do you truly want your life to look and feel like? And once you know that, then that vision, those ideas, those intentions, now it's like a blueprint. We've impressed a blueprint of who we are as joyful, loving, creative beings that are here to do magnificent work, that are here to bring our families together, that are here to make a positive impact, that are here to create beautiful art, that are here to bring systems into structure within our organizations, that are here to be part of a team, maybe, that are here to help our grandchildren, that are here to help our, our aging parents, that are here to bring our children into a place of, of power, to know who they are in truth, to know what they are in truth, and to know how they serve in truth, because we all do this. That's why we're here. We're waking up. We're here at the very green growing edge of our own becoming. We're here to consciously create with one another. So when we know what we want, when we know how we can bring our very best self forward, we're then fulfilling, get this, we're fulfilling our soul's purpose. And we start aligning ourselves with the fundamental order of the universe that is always on our side, that is always promoting growth and peace and harmony. But we disrupt this natural growth when we dip down into fear, frustration, trying to control, manipulate, trying to push our agenda, trying to point out what's wrong. All of those things are so tempting so tempting. And when we turn on the news, when we uh, surround ourselves with negative people that want to gossip, that want to control, want to stay in that low vibrational field, we then get drawn out of our most powerful co-creative abilities, technologies. We have this amazing instrument, the mind. And once we have mastery over it, we then get to bring ourselves into alignment. We get to center ourselves in the very powerful co-creative identity, ability that we are. We have these amazing skills and we're not using some of them. So let's use them today. So we anchor ourselves in the now moment. We align our mind our thoughts, our emotions, our energies with what we're coming into alignment with, with who we are and how we are. We, we make sure that everything that comes out of our mouth is, is positive, is supportive, is creative. It's easier said than done, but we can do it. You can do it. I know you can. You just pay attention to what you're thinking. You pay attention to what you're saying. You will pay attention to how you're feeling because your feelings are going to show you if you're in alignment or out of alignment. In alignment, we feel good. Out of alignment, it doesn't feel good. And when we're out of alignment, we can do whatever it takes. Take a breath, meditate, go for a walk, read something positive, give yourself, create a mantra create some centering and aligning thoughts. I am a peaceful, powerful child of the universe. I am here to bring my magnificence out into the world. I know that the universe is absolutely supporting me. Whatever it is, create some positive phrases. I call them affirmations and create them so that they bring you back into that aligned place.
place, that congruent place, that centered, anchored, authentic identity of who you are. And once we, we have this practice, anchor, align, we then arise. We arise. We experience a sense of moving up and moving out into a deeper sense of who we are, what's yet to come. And when we arise, when we transcend the physical, when we transcend our worries, our fears, our anxieties, our problems, there's such a beautiful aura of, of peace and grace around everything we do. And it lasts longer when we have a spiritual practice like anchor, align and arise. And when we have a spiritual practice, when we take time every day for prayer, for positive affirmations, when we take time every day to connect with our power partner or prayer partner or or a coaching buddy or whatever it is, find someone that that absolutely has your back, that that knows your truth, that isn't going to 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 say you can't do that. Oh, who do you think you are? Or yeah, but what about this? Or what about that? You, we need a partner that absolutely can see the vision that we have and hold that vision. And when we align ourselves with that, we then arise. We rise up as our most authentic self, that person, that being, that spiritual entity that has access all the time to the heart center. The heart center that says, no matter what's going on in the world out there, no matter how anyone is treating me, I'm going to love anyway. I'm going to love unconditionally. And so we, we arise. And I have a little acronym for arise. It's accept. We accept everything as it is. That means we don't mentally try and argue with it. We don't mentally try and fix it. We just accept it. It doesn't mean we agree with it. We just accept. And when we accept, we realize. We step into a place of realization. It's, it's beyond healing. It's beyond trying to fix. It's beyond thinking there's a problem. When we realize, we open our real eyes. And we become that spiritual being that's here to, to be the presence of love and beauty and kindness and joy. And when we accept and we realize, we ignite our spiritual evolution. So accept, realize, ignite spiritual evolution. That's my acronym for ARISE. So this week, take time to anchor, to align, and to arise arise, we accept, we realize, and we ignite spiritual evolution. You're here to evolve. You're here to bring beauty and love and joy into reality. I know you can do it. We're doing it all the time. And the more of us that can do it, it's like that hundredth monkey effect. The more of us that can practice this, the more of us that can remember who we really are in truth, we affect everything and everyone around us. Watch and see and trust and know. So let's do an, a, a little actualization. Let's do a little um, prayer. Let's do a meditation to bring us into a place of fully actualizing and, and embodying these, these truths, this download that's that's coming through me today. So take a breath and close the eyes and know that right here and right now in this moment, wherever we are, we are in the presence of the one absolute presence. There's only one, one omniscience, omnipotence, omnipresence, all wise, all present, everywhere present, all-powerful. That's who I am. That's who you are. That's who we all are. We're powerful, powerful creative beings. And we've been given a physical body. We've been given a mind, a brain to help us navigate this, this crazy world that we live in. And we have everything that we need 
at our fingertips, in our mind, in our hearts, everything that we need, everything that's required for us to thrive. And let us just settle in, anchor into that, that recognition of who we are in truth, of what we are in truth, and how we are here to serve and bring our light into time and space. What a joy ride we are on, all of us, bringing the universe into time and space through our particular vehicle, through our particular way of seeing the world and being the world. We are the universe in expression. We are spirit in expression. Each one of us give the universe a joy ride through our particular vehicle, with our particular families, with our particular choices. So let us bless it all. Let us see the divine I am in each and every being and just bring our awareness and our attention into our own lives and our own business where we have ultimate control over what quality of thoughts we have, what actions we take, what emotions we feel, and we start to cultivate a beautiful garden of our life. We start to plant seeds of positivity. We plant seeds of gratitude in the fertile soil of who we are in the fertile soil of our mind, and we start to see how we have power and strength to affect everything and everyone around us. And we do this with joy, not with fear. Fear comes in and we simply know, fear, what are you trying to tell us? What are you trying to show me? And I transcend, I arise out of that fear with a, with a, a deep sense of peace of love, of beauty, knowing that this too shall pass. The peace that passes all understanding is available to us all the time. And so we settle into that and we find our deep inner sense of well-being and we bring that out with our breath, with our awareness, with our kindness. And we send this blessing, this kindness, this love out to all sentient beings May all beings without exception feel so strong and steady and safe. May all beings without exception be healthy and happy. May all beings without exception live and love with ease and grace. And let's send that out in waves of love and light, our intention, sending it out, knowing whatever is going on in here affects everything out there because there is only one. There is only one. And we uplift, we anchor, we align, and we arise. And in this way, in this way of of waking up in this way of being a creative being. And each of us are right now. We're creating with our thoughts. We're creating with our intentions. We're creating with our love. We're creating with an open heart. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit of life. I accept this world. I accept this life. And I realize who and what I am. I realize each and every being is on their own path. I bless it. I see the divine I am and I ignite spiritual evolution and I am a living example of it. I give thanks for this. I give thanks for all of my blessings. I give thanks for everyone that's watching. I give thanks for, for this beautiful tribe, this activation, this synergy that's occurring right here and right now. Thank you, life. I bless each and every one of you. I bless this moment. <sighs> and let's say together, and so it is. So blessings on you. If you've enjoyed this and you'd like to in, to support our Om Shanti adventure, our Satya Center, our God on a Joyride, our Life on a Joyride, if the Growing Edge, if you'd like to support this this whole movement, you can Venmo Satya Center, S A T. 
Y-A, Satya, Center, C-E-N-T-E-R. We give thanks for every support, every dollar you send our way, our 501c3 thanks you. We bless you. We know that your generosity is helping to align and um, hearts to bring a greater sense of a virtual community of here, that we are on a wave on the green growing edge of our own becoming and our vision to, to support and celebrate conscious evolution is happening with your generosity. So thanks. Love you. Ali Benjamin here. Peace to you and your families. And know if you have a prayer request, go to growingedgelive.com and submit a prayer request. Make a donation if you'd like to make it there. And we will send you a, a thank you. And we will, if you'd like us to call you to support you in prayer, we're here to support you every step of the way. We're here cheering you on. We have a team of practitioners to love you and support you. Bye-bye. Namaste. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.